Hi guys, welcome back to another one. I've been looking a lot lately on YouTube and I notice a trend of people talking about how time is just disappearing, like it's almost not even there. Hours seem like minutes. And I have to say I was intrigued by this and um, I fully agree. And a lot of people just want to know why. And I think after really processing this, the core reason has been, at least for the millennial generation, and I think they notice it maybe more, millennial and Gen X, is the incredible amount of stressors that we've had to endure over the years, with the crown jewel being the virus five years ago. Thus far, because we don't know if there's going to be a crown jewel on top of a crown jewel, which is perhaps the most terrifying thing of all. What's next? And the terminology behind this, and I printed off a paper about this that I'm going to read in information. It's tachypsychia. And the definition is a neurological phenomenon that causes a subjective distortion of time, making it appear to slow down or speed up during high stress situations, drug use or physical exertion. Often triggered by the body's flight or flight, fight or flight response, it is associated with a surge of stress hormones like dopamine and norepinephrine, leading to a heightened state of awareness, but also impaired coordination and communication. But the most prominent thing is time perception distortion. The most prominent aspect is the altered experience of time where events seem to unfold in a prolonged slow motion or conversely, time feels like it's flying by. That's us. We feel like time is flying by. There's been a litany of stressful events, 9-11, the financial collapse of 2008, which was the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression. The war in Iraq. Net COVID, or the virus. And now, <clears throat> war in multiple regions, including Russia, that we may or may not get involved in, we're not sure. With the war in Ukraine and you know, Israel, etc. So all these stressors really add up over time. And they create time distortion, the crown jewel being, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic. And it's not just me saying that. Um, tachypsychia is a real thing. Baylor University, which I'm going to include a link to this article, the Days Blur Together study shows how the COVID-19 pandemic affected perceptions of time and our mental well-being. And this article is interesting. Um, if time does not seem to be moving normally, it is generally related to a lower, to lower levels of mental well-being, such as increased depressive anxiety symptoms or a lessened sense of control. Anderson said, "We think this is because people tend to feel grounded or calm when they feel like time is." moving as it should. And that's every day now. Even days that I work feel like they're gone like that. It's like one minute you wake up and then the next minute you're off the bed again. Secondly, the researchers found that individuals can often experience these time disorientations in multiple and contradictory ways, which can be related to even lower well-being. Feeling rushed and feeling that time is slow are kind of opposites, but they are both related to having the sense of multifaceted blending of time. We can show very clearly how these new stresses that were brought on by the pandemic created a heightened sense of disorientation in terms of time. I mean, we had a population that was largely locked down. We were worried about loved ones dying. Some people lost loved ones. We were told we needed to go a mask, have a mask everywhere we go. We had no control over anything during the pandemic. Our government 
led us to believe they were in control, only to be deceived. We realized, you know what, our government isn't in control of anything. And thereby gave us less confidence in our own government, less feeling of control. This is one of the reasons why everybody, everything is all screwed up. The time distortion that's gone along with this. Which is a uh, tacky psyche, I'm telling you. I'm not an expert, that's just based on what I've read. The rush pace of industrialized society existed before the COVID-19 pandemic, but the stressors associated with the pandemic added to the feelings of time being out of control. And again, this is Baylor University in Texas. Uh, Waco, Texas, to be exact. So what can we do about this? I honestly think the solution, and I know this isn't easy, guys, but time is melting, just like shown in this Baylor University out of Waco, Texas article. The only thing we can really do is figure out ways to simplify our life more and more. The less we are attached to material things, the more we can simplify, secure our housing, secure our position, make ourselves less reliant on employers and things we don't have control over, which I talk about in other videos, the better chance we have of slowing this time distortion down. Because even if the time distortion isn't real, it feels very real to us. It's like the little time we have is being stolen from us. And that's a very uncomfortable feeling. So myself included, we all need to work on controlling what we can and having the knowledge to know what we can't control. There's a lot of things we can't control, no matter how much we'd like to. Super volcano goes off in Yellowstone tomorrow, we can't control that. But there's a lot of things we can control. We can simplify our life. We can stop wasting time on dating apps and swiping. We can buy a place of our own that's hopefully in an inexpensive location, hopefully. We can choose to try and work with employers that are understanding of the situation. I know that's few and far between, but they are out there. We can spend more time with our family and friends. Focus on the things we can control. Understand that this time distortion, which is bizarre and has never been more bizarre, is due to multiple stressors over the last 25 years. The crown jewel of which was the pandemic just five years ago. Well guys, if you found this video insightful and helpful, please look up uh, Tachypsychia. Again, that word is Tachypsychia. And please like, share, and subscribe, as always. And I'll see you on the next one in the future. And let's hope the future doesn't come too soon.